There she is. I had to go. The thing keeps falling down off the mirror because it's kind of warm in here. But let's see what Eclipsis is going to do. She likes this little play gym. I just stuck it on my bed. I'm so sorry, guys. But I'll have another little area. I don't really have a big area for her. I could probably put it on where the table is or stick it on top of her. Probably going to put it on top of her cage. That's what I could do. Because um, definitely don't want it on my bed. But look at her. She's just enjoying her time out. Hi, baby. Hi, pretty bird. Are you enjoying yourself? You having fun out, huh? I put some seeds up there. There's some seeds in there. Maybe she'll go get those. That's where you put a little treat in there. That's quite a bit of treat. They got these balls right here that are like um, to play with, you know. Look at her, guys. She's brave. I'm just doing my uh, Bible reading right now. Um, read the Bible every day. I've read it twice. This is my third time around. And I'm already in Psalms. I start from the beginning. Some people don't, you know, they're like, well, I don't want to start from the beginning or whatever. But I start from the beginning because I just love Genesis. How it starts out and then it's sad because those wicked demons or satanic influence which is the devil has tempted them and Eve and then she tempted her husband and they rebelled so it, that's the saddest part but I like reading about the beautiful garden and how everything was ours and it is ours he made that especially for us the garden and um, he loves us that much you know our creator you guys, please pardon my bed. But I just didn't think she was going to get out at first. I was like, let me test her out. And she definitely is out and she's enjoying this room. Eclipses, you hear me talking? See, and this is all her uh, little gem thing. And I'm going to give it... Let, uh, I might have to get a, a heavier one for him. Because he, when he steps on things, he's kind of a little bit bigger. But we'll see. We'll test it out. But this thing... It kind of like is not set up right because I broke a piece off of it. I have to try and fix it. I have to try and fix it. And that way it'll set up right. I believe I can fix it. I don't know if I have the piece still though, but look at her. She likes it. What you got there, girl? What you got there? Huh? What you got? Let me move this because I don't want her to chew on things, you know. There, she likes it. I'm just we're just gonna watch her for a few and see what she does. She flew around a little. See those long wings right there? Those are the ones that should be cut. At least three of them. I think there's three or four wings that need to be cut, but I just want them to be able to fly. But if she's gonna hurt herself, I'll test her out a couple times. I've had birds before. And I always let them out and they fly around they get on my I had a wicker you know how wicker was popular back then I had a wicker chair and plants were around it they ate on them and they never got sick but there's certain plants you're not supposed to let them because I do have a couple of plants here so I gotta watch her so don't let them out and just let them roam about wherever make sure it's a safe area if they if you can't uh, be sure of every crack and corner look at her going up the stairs then uh, a ladder then you want to be able to, um, you know, watch them every second because they can hurt themselves. They don't know what's what, you know, what's dangerous for them or what's not, you know. So keep an eye on them. Guys, I'm progressing. She's progressing because she was in the, I should have recorded her while she was in the cage because she did like she did last time i recorded it she swung her little body part of the half bottom out and then she put it back and then i think she's trying to go for the food up there she went partially back and forth and you know she kind of like put her head out to see oh that's how i get out you know 
and then she went for it. Well, she got it. She didn't go for it. She kind of like went on the top of her cage, climbed up there, and I was like, "Yes, she's out." <clears throat> climbed on uh, Houdini's cage. Look at her go up. See, that's why you got to make sure they're safe for her because she she get they'll get scared if it falls. She she's going for the food, I think. But anyways, <clears throat> this thing is supposed to hang on something, but <clears throat> I might have to redo this whole thing because it's just not. When I got it, it was in a bag and it wasn't put together, so. I don't know if it was set up right. It was cheap. So I was like, hmm, why is it so cheap? And I see why. Look at her. She, she's trying to st hold on to things, but they're not sturdy as they should be. And I don't like that because I want her to be not scared, you know. <clears throat> but that's Eclipses, and she is on her way to being a free bird. Freedom. Oh, as I was saying, my other birds, I had a whole living room. I had a one bedroom. This house is humongous. So once she gets a little more tame to where she could fly carefully, I will let her out in the other part of the house. If you know, doors and things are open, but I'm, I feel safe with her in here for now because it's closed. My door's closed. But, um... My other birds, I had a whole living room and I let them fly in there. My mom would come <laughs> and my sister and I never realized that they were so frightened of them flying around them because it's like, it's kind of like when she flew right behind my head, it was like I was still so I don't get her scared, you know, frightened. But it's kind of amazing to hear those wings just flap, you know, beautiful. I can't imagine when Houdini gets out. I saw him fly because when we first bought him. He flew all over the store. <clears throat> but this young lady, she flew a little bit out of her cage earlier last year, a couple of years ago. And then I got nervous and I put her back. So she probably would have been getting out a long time ago if I didn't get nervous and put her back real fast because it kind of made her shy to get out. But they need exercise every day. Um... She's liking this. She really is. And hopefully I can get her back in. <laughs> I know I can get her back in. Just put her food in there. If she gets hungry, she'll go back in. <clears throat> Make it dark or whatever. I have my light on in here. I had the curtain open for the sunshine, but I thought, well, she's going to fly into the window and get in the shutters and all that get tangled. So I didn't. I closed it. But um, anyways, my other, see how she's enjoying herself, grooming herself a little bit. That's yours. Yes, that's yours and Houdini's. I think he's going to be too big to get on there. And you see when I just put it over here, she's like, hey, let me get on there. It's her toy. But I'm going to try and get something else that is a little bit more sturdy and add these things on there because it's kind of like uh, she's going to try and go get the food, I think. It's kind of like a, um, I'm going to go get her millet because she loves that. Hold on. You want some? Look at her. She loves it. This is our girl. This is our girl. She's out. That's our girl. <laughs> yeah, so I've been waiting for her to get out. I just don't want her to hurt herself. She's not, you know, sure about my room. She doesn't know how to. But my, like I was saying, my other birds, I keep switching. She and he, I had two, Chris and Christina, they flew everywhere in that house. I actually left the bathroom open too. Um, I closed the, the toilet seat, of course, so they won't fly in there. But one time my one bird, she flew into the aquarium because I didn't have a lid on it. I have lids on these, but she flew in there and... I just panicked and a friend of mine was over and got her out, but she flew right in there. So that way I had to cover it when I let him out, but they, they didn't get in there too often. See, there she goes for the food. I think look at her. Well, I'm proud of you, miss. That's for you. That's yours. I want Houdini out too, but one at a time so I could train you. I could train you. Yeah, go ahead. Do what you want. 
So she's out. And I am happy for her. I was looking at the videos and I'm like, hey, my bird won't go out. My bird won't go out. Here, you want some? Would you like some? Hmm? There, she's getting it. This is the last meal and I gotta go to the store and get some more. These two eat them like crazy. I bought all this fruit stuff, but they don't really... And they don't really like it yet. You know, since she's getting out, they'll trust you a little more. And I think she's trusted me for a long time. I just was nervous to let her out because um, the circumstances I was in, she wasn't in an area where I thought she could be safe because it was like an open, there was no closed in part. And eventually I want to make a, a closed in screen area. In like an aviary type thing, tall. I'll have somebody help me, have the family help me, and I'll build it myself. I'm going to look it up and build it. I'll have the screen and screened in little area where you can close it in and she can get in there and go like be outdoors, but indoors too at the same time where she won't get lost or fly away. <clears throat> Yeah, so, yeah, this is the last of it. Let's see, I've got to get another one today. Is this? Yeah, it smells like berries. But I want her to learn how to come and fly to me, you know. You want to fly to me and on my finger? I have her cup. I might have to use that. That's kind of like my training thing, I guess. But look at her. She's just gorgeous. I am very happy. Thank you so much, uh, creator, for a beautiful looking bird. And she's awesome. Want some more? You looking for this? You looking for it? That's her favorite. Oh, here. Well, actually, I'll tell you what about her. She's more trusting. She loves what I give her. Anything I'm eating, she wants to eat some of it. She just loves to see me eating. She thinks it's good, and she'll try it. Um, Most of the everything that I have, she can eat a little bit of anyways. But, um, and she loves vegetables, fruit. Um, look how pretty... I just keep saying that, huh? Because I'm just so proud of her. I just never knew that she would ever get out of there because I left the thing open for like almost the whole night and she never got out. But she's feeling more uh, trusting. And um, look at her. Look. <laughs> that thing is perfect for her. What? Want some more? You looking for it? You looking for it or are you looking for your for your seeds? I'm gonna put this back real quick. I don't know if I have let me see if she'll like these seeds. Seeds. Okay, do you want to try this? Look, I've got yogurt. I've got yogurt bites. Do you want to try? See, sometimes she won't eat it, sometimes she will. Here. When she's in the cage, I can hand it to her and she'll eat. But I'll put it in the cup. There you go. All right, so I put it in the cup. See how she's, she's very calm with me. I mean... I could go into my closet, walk around in there. Uh oh, it came down again. Hold on. It was really getting me anxious. Yeah. 
You guys like my song all right guys well i have coffee waiting for me in there but i can't go get it because i'm not gonna leave her alone in there i don't know what she'd be doing if i go run and get that i just want to watch her see what she loves what she doesn't love you like that whole area huh She's going to go up and get some of the food. She finally figured out there's something good in there. There's a treat in there for you. There's a treat. They're just amazing. Oh. They are just amazing. You know, creation is, is amazing. And, you know, um, I'm texting somebody. Let me see if she'll eat any of this. I don't know if she'll have this or not, but I like dried fruits. She don't really... Here, you want to try the banana? You want to try it? You want to try it? She don't really like stuff like that yet. I'm thinking... I'm thinking, um, that she, um, She's so cute. Eat some of your food there. That's for you. She's debating on, do I want to fly somewhere else? Might be bored with that little area. <clears throat> There's a lot of dogs. I mean, little, a lot of dogs. A lot of birds that just, that just, they just love their little area and they don't want to leave it. They will get upset if you try and take them out of there. So this is going to be a challenge. <laughs> maybe and maybe not. But I will just put her food somewhere else.
eclipses. Pretty bird, you pretty bird. You pretty bird, you pretty bird. Look at her, guys. Now, that thing down there, that's a. I'll probably move that clothespin out of there soon. I just had that in there because I was holding stuff up with it. But I don't like stuff like that in there because I don't know about them chewing on that wood like that. That type of wood. But those. That uh, straw thing I made for her in her cage, she never liked it. So I just took it out. Okay, now what's going on here? You coming over? Hi. She's checking my bed out. Don't you check my bed out. That's mine. You got your own. And what's so funny today is that she has that little bed thing in her um, cage. As soon as I opened her cage up, she f went in there and she sat in there. So uh, maybe she's been going in there. I don't know. But she liked her little bed. She's just getting a little more uh, comfortable. Look at her. Grooming herself. She's not worried about me. I think I need to clip her nails though because they seem awfully long. And um, she kind of gets them hung up on stuff. I'm excited okay guys 23 minutes I don't know if I should just go ahead and cut it off because she what is she doing she's not doing too much you got to be like I don't want to see no more of that I'll probably cut some of it out anyways because some of the stuff was just a little bit that window coming out no the curtain I have it rigged up here but I'm gonna try and get like these large poster boards where you can just tape them up there and stuff like that and I would leave my closet open, but I'm sure scared she'd probably get lost in there. Because <laughs> it's not like a clear. I'm going to clear it up a little bit, but I have so much stuff in there. Um, if it was just a, with shoes and stuff, like the boys walking or my daughter's, I wouldn't mind. But mine is just like packed in there, like knitting stuff and all kinds of stuff. They can be arranged to where she can go in there and explore. I don't know. We'll see. Look at her just enjoying herself. <laughs> what you doing there, Clips? You clean, cleaning your paws? Your claws? I need to get some little clippers. Maybe I'll do that today. And I want to clip her nails and she probably won't let me. I would love to do that. I'll just keep training her and get her tame and um, she'll let me hold her like a excuse me, like a normal bird should and um, you know she might be all right then but anyways there she is and she's out and I'm thankful that she's able to 
She did taste the food in there, though. That's just so weird. Maybe she don't trust it. But, um... Yeah, put a little piece in there. Hold on. A piece of the millet. She'll like that. There you go. Okay, I put a little piece of millet in there. I'm not sure if she'll want to try it. But anyways, you guys have a good day. Thank you, subscribers. You enjoy your evening, night, day, whatever time it is over there. But the thing is, stay safe because you know the president of the United States has gotten the virus and his wife. And um, that's sad, even though people are saying all kinds of crazy stuff. You know, they don't particularly like him. A lot of people don't, but... You know, nobody wants anybody to get sick or that's a bad thing. That virus is really a tough thing. So hopefully, you know, they'll get through it okay. And, um, you know, other people out there that have it, we hope that you get better. There's people that have died from it. So we're praying that, um, you know, people stay safe because that's the only way you're going to keep from getting it is if you keep that mask on. Stay a distance away from people. Don't be close to people, even though you might think, oh, they're nice, they're cute, they're kind, they're my friend, they're somebody I know well. You know, he knew the lady that um, had the virus, but he probably had no idea that she had that. And he was over around her, not, you know, got to follow the rules. You know, stay your distance. It doesn't matter if you know them. And that mask. So, you guys... You have a good day, and um, I'll see you on the next video. I haven't had a lot of videos in a while because I've been... I had a tooth pulled, first of all, way back, and it, it well, didn't only didn't take that long for it to heal, but I didn't feel like getting on here. Um, I've been doing a couple things, you know, that... Um, kind of a little bit under the weather, but... I'm better now, but I did go out and clean my yard. I did a lot of, uh, I'll put some of the flowers on there too. They're really blooming very beautifully. I, as a matter of fact, I got to go and water them today. I just wanted to see if I can get them to come out today for a little bit Saturday. And she did come out. I'm going to try and get Houdini next after I get her back in. I don't know if they should both be out at the same time because they, they don't know each other really. And um, soon they might. But I was going to say, um, she's chewing on the string right there. <laughs> she really likes it. That's her little thing there. I'm going to try and look for him. Probably go look and see if I can get him a gin. Because this looks like it's going to be a little bit too flimsy for him. And, um... Oh... Uh, I haven't made a lot of videos. But I still have not forgot about the last part of the good news. That video I was doing. There's some more good things uh, to read uh, for you all that I have in mind and I'm going to do that so anyways um, some more cooking, different things I'm going to make these blankets for the baby the baby's almost here um, so that's going to be on there so look for those and I will um, I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching say bye Clips say bye bye and say, I hopefully I'll get a good exercise out of this today. She got some exercise. She flew behind my bed. Fell down behind this cup thing. But she got up. Flew up there by my bird. By my apple dolls. Trying to eat a little bit of that. Munch on that a little bit. And, um.
Okay. Now, I'm done here, guys. I'll uh, see you guys later, but she's doing fine. And I'll let you know what's happened after. One day, I'll just record the whole day. I'm into 31 minutes here. But I'm going to cut, cut it down some. But, um... Uh, not too much going on. Um, I have to get back on the exercise videos. It'll be fun. Um, oh, the backyard has some big weeds that I have to try and get. And it wasn't working with that weed whacker, so um, I have to take the shovel to them. And um, with the front yard, I got them all down. And uh, the flowers are doing well. So anyways, um, got a little garden in the back. Trying to get one going. I really want to make an enclosure built towards the back part so I can have a place where I can set out without the bugs and critters bothering me. So I want to enclose it. And then I also want to be able to let the birds out so they can like fly around as if they were outside, but they're really inside. Okay, you guys, have a good day. Thank you for watching.